Meanwhile, the Confederate statue in front of Roanoke College is expected to be the center of attention at tomorrow's Roanoke County Board of Supervisors meeting. It's not on the agenda, but people on both sides of the debate are fired up after calls for its removal. And 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer now shows us the call to action to remove it, but why the decision is not so straightforward. A monument to the Confederate soldiers of Roanoke County stands on the corner of Main Street and College Avenue in downtown Salem. Dedicated by the Daughters of the Confederacy, it sits in front of a Roanoke College building and is now the center of a new call to action. Following the events of George Floyd, a group of alumni put together a Facebook page. It was called Roanoke College alumni com combating racism. Yeri Jimenez, other alumni and current students created this petition, a call to action combating racial inequality at Roanoke College. It's 10 pages of demands calling for a more culturally aware and inclusive campus. I was just trying to, uh, I don't know, summarize like years of issues that have got have gone unaddressed by the administration. One demand is the removal of the statue. Roanoke College also wants it gone, but it's not that simple. When the college annexed the old courthouse, the statue and the land directly around it remained with the county. The Board of Supervisors received a briefing on the statue last month, learning that as of July 1st, the county is legally allowed to remove it, but only if they want to. The matter isn't on Tuesday's agenda, although people for and against the issue are expected to speak during public comment. Yes, it was about States rights, but it was about states' rights to own people, and I don't think that that's something that we should be proud of. That's not something that should be celebrated. Jimenez says the statue is just one sliver of the bigger problem. Diversity training and inclusion are the real issues, and they want to move the needle. In Salem, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. The authors of the letter have a meeting with college leadership in the coming days. They hope to have a concrete plan of action in order to move forward.